YouTube and welcome to my new survival series of Minecraft. This is part one and as you can see I'm making a brand new world with no seed. So it's going to be completely random. Um, I do have a couple mods on. I have um, Mo Creatures and Zan's uh, minimap which you'll see top right. You'll see Zan's minimap. Very helpful. I suggest you getting it. It's one of the most important mods that I think is. Alright so we got a good area. We got some stone we can get over there. We got a lot of wood here. Let's get some wood. First thing you want to do is always get wood. Get at least like like a tree full of. Because you're not going to be able to get them fast without any axe. So we're only gonna get, we're only going to get like a tree. Yeah. Okay. Well. Hang on one minute. Okay. I was just checking if I had it on normal, and I did. Now, last one. Okay, so we got a uh, ten. Ten uh, wood. We're gonna head out to some. Look for a place that's good with um, stone. We're gonna need some stone. So, first we need to make some planks. Just um, put your wood here, and then out will come planks. And then make a crafting table by le by uh, clicking on this, and then right clicking on each of these boxes, and one will go inside. Sorry, not that I don't like the music, but it's probably gonna, you know, mess up the video a bit. But here we go. Now just um, put this down. One on top of the. Uh, second one at the bottom or whatever and you'll make sticks let's make a couple now we only need a pick for now so just follow this recipe and you'll get a pick but still keep your sticks and keep your crafting table over there okay so let's just get some okay three is enough just get three and then make a stone pickaxe with those three cobblestone now I have a texture pack. Some of you might not know what that is, but it changes up the um the the graphics sort of thing. Like it um it makes it uh it cha it changes up what you see. Like for example, you could even have the cobblestone look like I don't know some blue rocks or something, or make the grass really green, like dark green or whatever. There's a pig over there. Um, also, make a sword. That is, oh, this is how you make a sword. You can pause the video if I'm going too fast, but I'm just showing you guys some of the basics. And make a axe like that. And you got step one done. You got your stuff, your tools, and you're ready to go. Um, make sure you have some cobblestone. And let's go ahead and kill some pigs. Oh, there's lava over there, surprisingly. And I do see a bit of uh, coal. Got some pork. That's nice. A lot of pork. Really important. If you get lucky like me, I just got two porks with a lot of meat, so I'm pretty lucky right now. Sorry, I was checking. Fun. Let's kill this pork. Okay. That's interesting. I'm gonna leave it there because it looks nice. Okay, now I didn't create a shovel, but you can create one. I'll show you how to make one soon. And there's a good way of getting up to places. Now, um, one thing I do like and I enjoy making is houses inside caves like like let's just say I creator put a oh never mind. It's just like making a house inside stone is pretty cool. I find that nice. Now this is um basically the same as the other wood except um it's just different color. You can make the planks and the planks will be the same color but the wood will be different color. You can have a um if you don't like the white 
color of it. You can change the color with the texture pack. Certainly a painterly texture pack if you want to look that up on Google. Uh, you'll find a nice one that's a nice uh, texture pack. Simple to install it. If you need help installing it, let me know. Now I'm not going to bother with the whole tree because it's too much. So I'm just going to leave a bit of it up there. Okay. Uh, let's get, oh, this is another tree also. Uh, very nice combination of trees. Same thing as the white one, except it's a pine tree, and it's seen more in Arctic areas. Whoa, that tree is big. It's a long tree, I'll leave it there. Because I'm, I'm not gonna, it's too long. You can't really mine. I mean, you can't cut that whole tree down, you know? Okay, so just get a... Oh, there's some more coal here. Now remember, coal is a definite. If you can't find it, you, you're out of luck. I'll, or I'll show you another way. So don't worry if you don't find any coal. It's just an easier way if you find coal. So, like I said, look, look in some uh, certain areas, like, um, full of stone. Like, remember I was looking into that stone place uh, the first time where I got the stone? Stone is very important. You make a lot of tools with it. Good tools, actually. And they're very cheap. I see some more coal over there. But I don't think I need it. Actually, I'll go for it. Because you don't see coal every day. Careful with lava. If you get touched by lava, then you will get on fire and lose a good amount of health. And then die slowly. Which is not a very good way to... Okay, um, it seems though as if it's setting, the sun is, um, starting to set, so it's getting a little bit darker. I'm going to try to build a house now. Uh, well, we got a good amount of wood, we have a great amount of coal, and there's even more coal coming in. Normally, if you think the sun is setting quickly, then go ahead and s forget about the coal. And, uh, one more thing optional. If you see any sheep, go ahead and kill them. You can make a bed which will allow you to sleep during the night so you don't have to go through all those terrifying nights. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and kill this guy. Sorry. So you only get a bit of wool. Oh, the wool looks like this in the texture bag. I... Okay, you guys heard that noise, right? That was a zombie, which means there should be a cave entrance around here, because they're in caves in most times. But I'm going to forget about that. I don't need to kill it. Zombies are terrifying creatures in this game, but not as terrifying as the, um... Oh, look at the bird. Now, this is again from the mod. See, that's a cave right there. I'm not going to go for that hole. Um, those are chickens. My texture pack made them look like that. So, yeah, that's a fox. Now, what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to find a nice area. Oh, that's nice, but no. A nice area that I can use before the sun sets. Okay, it's setting. I still got a go. I, I got a good amount of time, like around three minutes. Okay, here's a good spot, but I would go for over there, up there, since it's high ground. But I'm going to stay low for a little bit, just for now. Because I'm not going to risk it going up there and finding out that it's only, a, like, a little bit of land. Because it doesn't look too much. So don't risk it, just try to find a good amount of flat land, like this. This is perfect, actually. And sort of going to fill out the holes. Fill them out with dirt. I'm just being lazy to get dirt. Uh, okay. So let's go ahead and make our house. Now, try to make it, like, 4x4. Four four, but if you want, you can make it, like, 6 or 5. Because right now, you really don't need that big of a house. Like, this is just for tonight. Go ahead and make some more wood. 
Now, there are hostile mobs in the uh, mod I'm using. Hostile mobs, like such as um, ogres or wraiths or whatever. So, I'm um, sorry if I encounter any of them. You will not, since you don't have any of the mods. Um, okay, so the top for the starting house, just make it a, um, uh, it's like three blocks high. Three wood high. Okay. And then just cover it up. Oh, it's raining. Luckily, I bought my house. Sorry that it's so... Hang on. Okay. That's better. Or not. Alright, so, um, still pretty loud. But, if you have any coal at all, go ahead and make yourself some torches by putting a stick down and a coal, a piece of coal, above it. And you make four torches. Place by right clicking. Put a good amount of torches down. And now that we have a good amount of equipment, and what day is it? Alright, it's night time. Okay, well, day one has been survived. Um, well, actually, it needs to be day until it's survived. So, to not waste time, I'm gonna build stuff while we're inside this little house. Go ahead and waste your, make some uh, wood. Make a spade! Shovel by doing this. Now, um, go ahead and make like a little staircase like this, going downwards. We're gonna go find some dungeons or some caves, so like this, and keep following that way. I just, just keep making. Remember, if it's brown, it's dirt. If it's gray, it's stone. So, wood stone, you get your pickaxe out. With um, dirt, you get your uh, shovel out. And just keep up. Oh, see, I found coal. Remember to have your light source down. Now I'm going to show you what this is. This is gravel. For me it's blue because of the texture pack, but usually you'll see it as um, uh, like sort of grayish color, like exactly like this, but gray and some brown in it. Now the thing about gravel is that it's it falls down. See, it doesn't stay up in the air like floating like, uh, I don't know, like, like wood like that. It doesn't do that. It falls down. So it has to have something supporting it at all times. Be careful with it because if you're, let's say there's uh, gravel up there, if you mine, if you get that out and then the gravel falls down on your head and you die. So be careful with that. Let's make a nice space here. about that. Okay, one more thing. Hang on. Because 
that's for the um mod you guys certainly won't need it okay now the volumes are decent so still pretty loud go ahead and continue our staircase downward Okay, now, you know what, before I go on, I'm gonna head back up, and there's zombies outside, you can hear, I'm gonna head back up, real quick, and with my mod, the Zans minimap mod, I can press the M button, and this little screen will pop out, waypoints, add, and name it, home. Now I have a nice little green mark in my map, so that tells me where my house is. My first house. Okay. So that's very useful, in case you get lost, in case you go somewhere else, like, looking for something. Don't know your way back. Now stone is important. You'll need a lot of stone. Like I said before. It should be daytime in a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna end the video when it's daytime, and then tomorrow, and well, I'll post up another video of um, day two. Okay, you know what? I think I might just end the video right now. All right, guys. So um, day one has been survival. We have um good amount of food, a good amount of uh, coal, stone, wood, and we should be set for day two. Oh, um, make sure you make duplicates of your tools, such as your stone pickaxe, your axe, and your shovel, because you will need them for day two. So, yeah, signing out, guys. Watch part two for the next survival.